Hey guys, today I want to talk about something that probably most people aren't considering, but is very important for rider comfort for some of us. Now I'm going to preface this video with, if you only do short rides, or if you only ride in very nice cool weather, this probably isn't going to apply to you, so you can tune out right now if you want to. But if you're like me, if you ride in hot weather, or if you do longer rides, say an hour plus, this might help you out or at least save you some money, or hopefully make you a lot more comfortable and save you some money. All right, and that is underwear. Yes, underwear. Most of us wear it, at least while we bike. And most of us, if you do longer rides or ride in warmer weather, have experienced some type of discomfort, be it sweat, monkey butt, chafing, things shifting around, just general uncomfortableness in the saddle. Everybody's going to have their magic point of what's too long before you notice something happening. And that's not good. I mean, that makes the day less enjoyable. It can make you have to pull over. It can make you, you know, just think about it. Be distracted a little bit. It's not cool. So I had that problem. I only had the problem on my longer rides which I do occasionally, sometimes alone, like I did today. Sometimes with the wife, we'll go out for, you know, all day, four, five, six hour rides. And it was an issue. I mean, I had all those issues. Tried all different kinds of underwear. What I found was, as far as normal, everyday, off-the-shelf cotton underwear, boxer briefs, definitely the best kind. Nice snug fit. You know, it was comfortable. But no cotton underwear, no matter what kind of cut it is, is going to keep you dry. Cotton does not wick away moisture. It just absorbs it and sits there. And if you're in a hot environment, it has nowhere to go. It's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Then your jeans or whatever your pants you're wearing, they're going to get uncomfortable and so on and so on. So no cotton anything is going to work to really give you a comfortable experience and ride for the duration. So, okay, I wanted to solve the problem. First thing I did, hit Google. There are several different manufacturers of motorcycle specific underwear, both shorts and shirts. Now, I'm not saying any of them are bad. I'm not saying any of them are bullshit. I'm not saying anything negative about any of them because I have never tried them. I probably never will. Maybe there are some benefits to them that I'm simply not aware of, but I'm going to tell you something that I found that is a hell of a lot cheaper, and that's the rub with every single one of the motorcycle touring or long distance type underwear. Those are terms you can Google for and find yourself. You're talking 60, 70, 80 bucks for a pair of underwear, for one freaking pair of underwear. And we're talking a couple dollars worth of material. We're talking some spandex and some polyester and some elastic. There is nothing magical about them. There's no carbon fiber. They're not armored. They're not made with diamond juice. I mean, nothing. Just sports materials. And they want, I mean, more than a pair of gloves. You know, uh, an entry level jacket worth for this little bit of material. It's just, I, there's no way in hell I'm paying that. But like I said, maybe they have their distinct benefits. Maybe they're good for literally as long as you could possibly stay in your bike. I mean, 24 hours and they're good. Maybe that's their claim to fame. I don't know. But here's something that I tried, found it at Walmart. These are jockey. Sport Life. They're pretty much a boxer brief. They're not quite as long in the leg as a typical boxer brief. They just come down a little bit. So it stays on your leg. It's not going to ride up or anything. Now I bought one pair a few days ago. Bought a black pair. I went back to Walmart tonight to get whatever they had left to stock up. All I had was a couple pairs of orange. So I picked those up. I'll go back for some more. They got a bunch of colors. But anyway, I was on the bike nonstop, literally did not get off it for five hours today. I wore my first pair that I bought, 
and I have absolutely nothing bad to say about them. I and they were as dry as I put them on before the trip, and it was 87 degrees, full on sun, and literally five hours sitting on the bike solid. Dry as a bone, absolutely comfortable. There were no seams that I was feeling. The waistband, super comfy, wasn't digging, wasn't riding, nothing. I didn't feel a thing. The legs didn't ride up. It's got a nice little pocket for us guys. Kept everything in place. I mean, just an absolutely fantastic working pair of, of sport shorts. And these are specifically for wicking away moisture. They absolutely do their job. These are not cotton. These are not street spandex. These are not for working out. They are for wearing underneath your stuff to play and do very intense sports. And they work absolutely fantastically, for me at least, on the motorcycle. Here's the huge thing. Eight bucks. Eight bucks, all right? So, you know, you can buy eight of these, one for every day of the week and a spare, or one pair of the ones online for motorcycling underwear. Same stuff, all right? Don't know what to tell you. This is 80% polyester, 20% spandex. Machine washable, on cold, um, tumble dry. Nothing special to do about them. They work. So that's it. I just wanted to pass this along. Like I said, if you're just doing short rides, you live in cold weather, you don't have those kinds of issues that the longer rides are going to induce or the hotter weather, it's not going to apply to you. Wear whatever the heck you want. You know, whatever's comfortable for you. But if you're in my shoes, give this a shot. Jockey Sport Life, eight bucks. It's worth eight bucks just to test it out. If you have any problem with it, who cares? It's eight bucks. Okay, lesson learned. Didn't work for you. Head on over and uh, keep using or try your $60, $70, $80 pairs. You know, all I can vouch for is five hours. This was absolutely perfect. I felt absolutely nothing. Maybe these don't work for a 10-hour day. Maybe these don't work for a 15-hour day. I don't know, and I don't care because I'm not doing 10-hour, 12-hour, 15-hour. I'm not doing the Iron Butt Series rides. I'm not doing a coast-to-coast -coast ride. I'm just doing four or five hour at the most. That's our big day ride kind of schedule, and it works for me. So I'm happy for eight bucks. Bought a bunch more. Gonna go back and get some more, and that's all there is to it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the site, twowheelobsession.com, and we'll see you next time.